Hello students, how are you? Hope you all are healthy and safe at your home. I am Shweta Jain representing Shiv Jyoti Educational Group, Kota. So students, today we will study science. We will do the revision of chapter 5, safety first. So let's start with the explanation part of this chapter. So here, safety. Safety means to be careful. So whenever a person is careless or he is in hurry, then what happens? In such cases, accidents occur. Now what are accident? Accident here is an unpleasant event that occurs unexpectedly and causes injury. Unpleasant event means which we don't like. Okay, it, it is not a good thing to get an accident. So it is an unpleasant event and it happens unexpectedly means suddenly it happens. Okay, so accidents are unpleasant events that happens or occurs unexpectedly and causes injury. And whenever there is accident, it causes pain and injury. So to avoid accidents, what we should do, we should follow some safety rules and these safety rules have to be followed everywhere and at every time. So some of these safety rules now we will study. Now safety rules have to be followed everywhere and every time. So we will start with the home. Safety at home. So there are several safety, safety rules that must be followed at home. So what are they? First of all, you should not run in the house. Otherwise, you may uh, bump into the furniture. You may get injured. Okay. Secondly, whenever you are in the house, you should not open the door for strangers. You should not take medicines of your own. And if you are going into the kitchen, you should not try to lit the gas stove by your own. Then uh, you should not touch electric switches and wires with wet hands. Okay, These are some of the safety rules you can follow at your home. While you are in the bathroom, you should keep the bathroom floor dry. Otherwise, you may slip over there. So these are some of the safety rules you should follow at your home. Now we come to next that is safety at school. So children, half of, the, uh, half of the day you spend at your school. So there also you should follow some safety rules. So what are they? First of all, you should not push or pull each other while playing in the playground of the school. Okay, And you should not run up and down on the stairs or you should not push anyone on the stairs okay you should not climb on the benches and desks whenever you are in a school so these are some of the safety rules that you should follow in your school now the third is the safety rules at playground and at swimming pool So students, whenever you are playing on the playground, you should not fight while playing. You should not push each other while playing. You should not play rough games. You should not play with sharp objects. Okay. So these are the things which you should follow when you are on the playground. Now, when you are at swimming pool, you should never go to swimming pool without any adult. Okay. And you should never push or pull anyone in the swimming pool. Otherwise, it can cause accidents. Okay. So these are some of the rules that you should follow at playground and swimming pool. Then safety rules on the road. Again, it is a very important place where we walk. So on road also, we should follow some safety rules. So first of all, we should always walk on the footpath. Okay. Secondly, we should cross the road at zebra crossing and you all might be knowing what is zebra crossing. These are the black and white strips you see on the roads at the traffic signals and all. So these are meant for crossing the road by the pedestrians. Pedestrians means the people who uh, walk on the road. So you should always cross the road at zebra crossing. Then you should always follow traffic lights. You should not run or play on the road. So these are some of the safety rules that you should follow when you are on the road. Now we come to the next topic that is first aid. So students, 
we know that we should follow safety rules everywhere and at all the time but still if someone get injured then what you do we try to help him out okay and you also try to help him out so how you will help so it is so the immediate help given to an injured person before the arrival of the doctor is called as first aid so we will help that person by giving him the first aid okay so now you understood what is first aid so now we will discuss first aid which uh, should be given in different cases now as there are different medicines for different type of diseases so similarly there are different types of first aid for different types of injuries that we will discuss now okay so first of all we'll come to first aid for minor cuts and wounds so students whenever there is minor cut or wound so the very first step before giving the first aid in any case is wash your hands properly okay now after washing your hands what you have to do wash the injured uh, portion or wash the wound or cut under running water so that the dirt can be removed from it secondly you should apply some antiseptic lotion like detol sevalon okay and after applying antiseptic you have to tie a bandage or put a bandaid around the wound or over the wound so this way you can give first aid in case of minor cuts and wounds secondly we come to burns now if the injury is in form of burns if someone get burned then what you will do hold the burnt area under the cold running water or you can apply ice pack also then after applying ice pack apply an antiseptic lotion like burnol any antiseptic cream okay then after that if still the burn is severe then you should consult a doctor then thirdly insect bite this is the another case because we are surrounded by many different types of insects in our surroundings so what we have to do in case of uh, if insect sting us then first of all play, uh, place a piece of ice over the uh, place where over the wound where insect has bitten us okay then you can apply a paste of baking soda and cold cream okay it will give uh, it will for relief in the pain sensation okay for this you can apply paste of baking soda and cold cream so this way uh, you can give first aid for insect bite now fourthly if someone faints now if someone faints then what type of first aid you should give so first of all when a person faints make him lie down with his head lower than the body now why do we do so so that the blood flow start towards the head part okay now after making this uh, try to make the person comfortable don't crowd around him then I sprinkle some water on his face and after that consult a doctor so these are some of the first aid which should be given in different types of injuries now students for giving first aid we should have a first aid box we should have a first aid box now what is this first aid box so first aid box is a box which contains all the necessary things which are required to give a first aid now what are these necessary things so these necessary things are antiseptic now any antiseptic you can keep, uh, keep like detol sevalon then secondly after antiseptic it should be having bandage or a bandaid then a gauze to cover the wound then cotton then a pair of scissors to cut the bandage so these are some of the things which have to be kept in the 
first aid box so students this was all about the explanation part of this chapter now we'll move to the internal questions so let's mark the internal questions so open your books get ready with your pencils let's come to internal questions so first internal question is why should we not run in the house so open page number 40 now in the second paragraph under the heading safety at home the first point of this heading now you have to underline over here do not run in the house you might fall down and get hurt so underline this and so the answer to this is we might fall down and get hurt so you can underline it from here safety at home first point and you can write the question above the paragraph okay now we move to second one which type of clothes catch fire easily again come to page number 40 now under the heading safety in the kitchen last point underline this point it is synthetic clothes catch fire easily so question is which type of clothes catch fire easily answer is synthetic so mark it over here and write the question above the paragraph now we come to third question from where we should cross the road so answer is zebra crossing so come to page number 41 it is under the heading safety on the road second point always cross the road at the zebra crossing so underline the word zebra crossing and write the question above the paragraph so this is all about the internal questions now we come to the book work of this chapter so open your books page number 41 so first exercise is write t for true and f for false statements first we should keep the bathroom floor wet this is a false statement because on wet floor you can slip and get injured okay we should not light the gas stove in the presence of an adult now again this is a false statement because we should light the gas stove only in the presence of an adult okay we should touch electric plugs with wet hands again this is the false statement because if we touch the electric plugs with wet hands we may get electric shock we should not play rough games this is a correct statement we should not fight while playing again this is a correct statement okay now we move to next exercise it is tick the correct answers now this exercise is on page number 44 accidents occur due to carelessness awareness carefulness none of these so the answer is carelessness whenever a person is in hurry or in or careless then accidents may occur what kind of clothes should not be worn in the kitchen cotton nylon jute linen so nylon hair is a synthetic clothes and we clothe and we should not wear synthetic clothes in the kitchen as they catch fire easily the immediate help given to an injured person is called first aid injury second aid third aid so it is the first aid okay a paste of baking soda and cold cream is applied for cut insect bite burn or fainting so it is insect bite in case of insect bite we apply paste of baking soda and cold cream which of the following is not kept in the first aid box cotton scissors gauze or plier so here plier is a tool and it is not used in first aid box now we come to the next exercise it is fill in the blanks with the correct words now here help box is given to you do not play with so we should not play with fire do not crowd around a person who has fainted always walk on the footpath do not play on the road do not touch electric switches with dash hands so we should not touch electric switches with wet hands now we move to next exercise so students now let's come to the next exercise name the following first an antiseptic lotion so we have to write the name of any antiseptic lotion you can write titol, Savalon, then 
the kind of clothes we should not wear while working in the kitchen so the answer is synthetic because synthetic clothes catches fire easily then the place on the road from where we should cross the road so the answer is zebra crossing we should always cross the road from zebra crossing four things which should be kept in a first aid box so these things are bandage cotton wool scissors and an antiseptic lotion these things are to be kept in a first aid box so this was all about exercise number c move to the uh, okay one more exercise is here tick the actions you should follow and cross the ones you should not so let's do this exercise first do not put coins and marbles in your mouth okay so this is the correct statement so we write tick here uh, a tick mark here put your finger into a plug point now this is not a correct statement we should not do this so we'll mark cross over there play with scissors and knives you should not play with pointed objects so again a cross will come do not play with burning matches sticks or candles again this is a correct thing you should not play with burning matches sticks disobey traffic rules again put a cross over here because we should always follow the traffic rules and do not walk on the footpath okay so again this is a wrong statement because we should always walk on the footpath now we come to copy work so let's come to the define so first definition is first aid the immediate help given to an injured person before the doctor's arrival is called first aid accident accident is an unpleasant event that occurs unexpectedly and causes injury now answer the following questions write any three safety rules that should be followed on the road so these safety rules are first of all walk on the footpath cross the road at the zebra crossing and do not walk between the vehicles parked on the road okay then write three safety rules that should be followed at home never open the door for strangers do not take any medicine on your own do not touch electric switches and wires with wet hands otherwise you can get electric shock now what should be done in case of first of all gas leakage so gas leakage do not operate any electric appliance or light the fire window should be open immediately okay whenever there is gas leakage we should not operate any electrical appliance because they may catch fire okay second burn so burns apply cold water or ice pack on the burnt area and then use an antiseptic cream so cold water or ice pack lower the burning sensation and then we can apply antiseptic cream third is insect bite so insect bite place an ice pack or pour cold water on the affected area and apply a paste of baking soda and cold cream so this can be done in case of an insect bite i hope you all have understood it well thank you children